In this video, I'm going to talk about fairing the shear. So this picture is shortly after I flipped the boat. So the first part of this video segment actually be me going through some just pictures and talking about them, and then I will record actual video to show the technique I use to fair the shear and uh, how I did that. So what I'm showing here is after you flip, your planking needs to overlap some um, at the shear and, and the plans aren't real clear about actually how much overlap. So I try to make sure I overlapped enough to account for this curvature. So you, when as these boards curve down, you want to overlap well over that. So um, so this edge, you can see this, this is actually what we're talking about, fairing that off. So if I advance this here, so this is from the uh, front part of the boat and you can see that edge. And if I zoom in, you can even see where my composite nails actually didn't even make it into the shear because they overlap and I intended them to, but some of them were actually a little bit too low when it was flipped, which is which are too high now. So all this stuff is what we're talking about. We want to get all this fared off and then also fair the shear um, boards themselves. So you can see on both sides how they're, uh, the overlap, it's not all the same, of course, but um, all that needs to be uh, fared off. And um, even even the back here, um, all of this, this is the final planking, uh, but then these are, that's the final planking, but these are the inner planking layers. And you, this pencil line you can kind of see is roughly where well, actually, no, that was just my mark from before, but somewhere along there is actually it'll get fair down uh, in somewhere in that area. So, and this is from the back of the boat, just again showing uh, the overlap. Now in the front, it's not quite as much, but it really depends on how you plank the boat. And uh, for me, I had more towards the back that was overhanging. So I've started some of the fairing here in these next few pictures um, where you can see where um, the, these outer layers um, are getting close. But, but if you notice, I haven't really fared any of the shear yet. I was kind of, you know, this is something I sort of worked my way into. And, uh, but the idea is this curvature of these deck beams, that's actually the, you want to continue that on down to the outer edge of the boat, the outer edge of the final planking. That's actually the shape you're looking for. And I'm building a utility, so I hadn't cut these out yet. So I did rough fairing again before I cut those out. <clears throat> and this is just shown from the back with some rough fairing. Now it does, because I fared a little more up further than back here at this when this was taken, this looks like my outer planking has a real bump, but it really doesn't. It's just because I have not fared this down because when this ends up being fared, it, it gets fared down quite a ways kind of in this area. And this is just another picture a little further up. You can see where I fared a little more here as opposed to back there. And and you can notice that these shear uh, boards have not been pretty, they really haven't been touched yet. <clears throat> and uh, here you can see the same thing on the other side. Now, I, I guess I didn't mention how I do this. What I did is I used my hand belt sander, and, and I'll show kind of how I knew how far to go down with the fairing in, in the second part of this video, um, or actually take video and kind of show. I used a little jig to uh, know how far down to go. Uh, but here you can see, again, just some rough fairing on this side. And I guess it's just another picture. Now I've, at this point, I have cut, I've cut the deck beams out for the utility version. But again, I haven't really fared down anymore yet. Now this is showing where I've actually done more fairing, um, further in actually to this year, as you can see. It's a little hard, it's a little fuzzy, but back here you can see how this line now is looking much more uh, straight than it did before. Still not quite done, but you can still see how it looks much cleaner and better now. And, and again, I'm not done here, but 
but you can see these a little further pictures where I'm a little further along the process. And this picture I'm actually showing, I think I'm even a little further along than I was before. And again, this on the port side. And I think I'm even farther along now, kind of work my way slowly into this. So you can see it's really cleaning up. Now one thing uh, that's not showing as much here, it was more towards the front, but I had some gaps in my planking um, and little, little places just all along that I actually filled in with some thickened epoxy. And, and you'll see that in the second part of this video segment when I actually will uh, walk around the boat and show that a little bit more close up. This is a continuation of the video of me uh, talking about fairing the shear. And if you remember from that, uh, when I went through the pictures, I showed this angle from back here. And now you can see the, the fairing is pretty much done back here. And you can see this outer edge, how it's much more straight. Um, it's not perfect, but it's also at the mercy of essentially planking and, and things. But it, um, you can see that it looks much more uh, finished here. Now, if you notice, these inner shear members or pieces, it's a lamination. If you remember the shear, at least on Monaco, uh, the shear laminations, there's three of them. And here you can see these inner laminations when you, when you set these at an angle, um, these inner ones didn't get set up quite as high. So, but that's okay because the planking will come down and it has a nice surface out here and a nice wide over an inch or so to set on. So it's okay that these are a little lower. Um, and I also had talked about uh, this back uh, piece when you remember I showed a picture about that where in the picture that I showed only had the outer plank, the planking layers. I did not have these two laminations of half inch which the plans call for. And that's where the back deck battens will fit into these notches. Um, but, but this is all fair off as well now so you can see that the idea is you want that just to continue right on out to this outer edge and then you can see some of these uh, parts or, or epoxy spots remember I talked about how I had little gaps and these were real small little gaps once I started doing it I just looked for any little gap but up front um, I had some some gaps in my planking which I mean, they weren't major, but I wanted to get those filled in so they would at least be nice and solid. And I will um, fare this off a little bit more. Um, I, I do have a little bit more fairing to do on this year. Not much, but so these will all get cleaned up um, after I'm done with that. And then I went around also. Um, so all the way around that other side too, I just looked for any little, any little gap or imperfection um, in the shear and fill them in with epoxy, thickened epoxy. So the way that I fare the shear is, I don't have my dust collection hose hooked up, but I use my power sander. I know other people uh, do it differently, use a hand plane, and, and uh, but for me, uh, I use this tool for fairing, and I used it when I fared all the battens and frames and things before doing planking. And so, um, and it, it you just you, it just take you, it takes a feel, and you just do it slowly. Um, but if you remember from those pictures I showed, this outer planking was sticking up quite a bit. So during that part, you can really hog it off pretty good. But then once you start getting down close, you want to slow it down, and I can adjust the speed of this to help control so I don't take off too much, and. Uh, so you get it down close, and so um, what I did to, uh, to find out um, how far down to take this, which I've got a little bit more to do up there, but I'm mostly done. Um, but I made this little jig with a notch cut out of it. So what I could do is lay it on what's left of the deck beams, because that's the angle that you want. And if you remember, these deck beams go like this. Well, you just want this to go right down all the way out to the outer edge. And uh, to visualize that, this is what I did. You can see I made this jig and then this little piece. And then what, you know, this, this, 
surfaces on the same plane. So then you can see how close uh, you are uh, to it. Because when you first start fairing, I mean, this, the, the, the solder planking is sticking up quite a bit. So this just gives you a feel for how close you are. And uh, so then I would just go along here and lay it, lay it on each, each of these members to help me see how far I have to go. And I actually can see that I have a little bit more to go. And uh, so that, that's what I use to help me see. I know there are some people who have made jigs and used a router and things, or there are other ways to do it. But, but for me, this is what I did. And then in between these, then I would just eyeball it. And uh, you just look to see if you've got a nice, continuous shape. So that's how I did it. Um, and uh, again, I've got a little bit more to do. I do want to take off this epoxy. And, and when I lay this on here, for example, I can see that I've got a little bit more to go, and uh, and I just do that all all around the boat. Now in the back, um, that that to me <clears throat> takes a little bit more um, eyeballing, and for me anyway. And uh, so I just kind of did what I thought looked good back there. It's a little bit tricky, in my opinion, back there. And then also I tried to fare, like I mentioned before, where this. The surface goes right up, right up over this carling. Now, getting this perfect, I don't think you really have to get it perfect, but you want to get as close as you can. Um, because when the planking goes on there, it'll be very forgiving. I mean, the planking will, um, you, you want the same, uh, a nice contour um, for that planking to lay as flat as possible, but I don't think you really have to be perfect. Well, I hope not, because I know I'm not perfect. And also up here, when I, before I do planking up here on these front deck battens, or, um, I will try to fare just a little bit to give a little bit of contour so that the planking will lay as flat as possible. But I, it won't take much because these are already set at an angle. Um, so you just want it to be as nice of a continuous shape as you can. So that's, that's how I did it.